Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play 358 over two days. Last time we did some emblem hunting, and in this episode, it's finally time we use the gear I constantly mention throughout multiple episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, the nimble gear. Which is not that bad, actually. So, let us grab some ability units. Put them on my keyblade. And let us show off the nimble gear after all this talk. This is the nimble gear, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're going to a very special world. Oh, yes. We're going to the final new world of the game. You said the same exact thing yesterday, Demix. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time we head off to Neverland. So, we're gonna go and eliminate the wave crest. So, let's do this. To Neverland we go. We get some luck tech, a cure recipe, and a bronze for this one. Ah, yes, Neverland, otherwise known as Never Bring a Ground Keyblade to This World World. Never, ever bring a ground keyblade to Neverland, ladies and gentlemen. That is the biggest mistake you could ever make. All right, so let's go and track down the wave crest. We're kind of stuck on an island, though, so there's not much for us to be able to look around for. But what's this? You see this dark smoke too, right, Smee? Uh oh. Wait, why are you afraid of Heartless? You controlled them in the last game, in Kingdom Hearts 1. Alright, so. Let's take out these Heartless. And this is why you use an air keyblade inside of this world. All enemies be flying. But this is not the only reason why you bring an air keyblade to Neverland. There's another reason why you do such a thing. And we will be getting to that soon enough. Plus also the Nimble Gear is pretty dang strong and pretty good to use. Now, air battlers are annoying because 
they're the only one of the only types of enemies in the game that can cause you to lose your lock on target because of the fact that they'll end up quickly going around it's rather annoying the enemy type for them which is the gargoyle is just annoying in general but there we go How so, Roxas? Please explain more. So why don't we go over and head over this way and see if there's ships over here will lead us to the wave crest. This this episode's gonna have a lot of cutscenes, ladies and gentlemen. I should just mention that right now. Seems Tinkerbell doesn't like that. Well, use the dark corridors. You have those. Is it radiation? Good job, Roxas! Was it radioactive? I need to know this. Wait, you feel bad? You feel bad, Roxas? I think you mean you think bad. But yes, while in Neverland, we have Auto Glide. Hit the Y button while jumping to float. You can ascend with the Y button, descend with the B button. This is the other reason why you don't bring a ground keyblade to Neverland. Always remember that. So, let us take out these tur turquoise marches. Which I actually like. I like the battle music for Neverland. This is an annoying world, but I like the battle music. So, there's that. So, we need to just find the wave crest now. Now, where would a wave crest be? Well, Smee and Captain Hook have been busy digging holes around the islands. And what we have to do is examine the holes, and then we'll be able to do it. So, let us take out the turquoise marches first, as well as the air battler, which are very annoying. And up, oh, I'm spinning. Up, oh, water. Right. If you ever jump off of a cliff that is surrounded by water, what'll end up happening is you'll end up going 
and instantly auto gliding but when you're over land you will stop gliding i don't know why they made that the case anyway i also put two fires on i don't know why i'm still thinking fire is good fire is better so we got some more heartless right over here at this point i'm still trying to remember what to do for the mission as you can see, you stop gliding because you know you've stopped glide auto gliding because you have no sparklies on Roxas. So let's grab a shining gem and take out the turquoise march. All right, come on, baby, we got this. There we go. Take care of you. What about the air battler right here? Oh, there's the air battler. Let's try and get rid of these heartless first. We've got holes all over the place. Come on, let's get rid of the heartless. Let's go over by the ship. Well, I can't go any further. I tried, Tinkerbell, I tried, but invisible walls and all that. And this thing's persistent. Right, come on. Oh, stop disengaging my lock on. Stop. Come on. And there we go. Takes care of the air battler. So, let's. Oh, gosh darn it, more heartless. I just want to find the wave crest. I've spent so much time just beating up Heartless instead of doing the mission. I could have done two missions in this part if I had done that. Ouch. Right. Come on. Get over here. There we go. There we go. Shining gem. Now let's go and find that wave crest. So let's start with this one right here. And it's a dud. Whenever it's a dud, you will end up fighting Heartless that end up spawning there. And you won't be able to search another hole until you beat all the Heartless that you ended up summoning. Keep that in mind. This is all random. I believe this is all RNG based. I could be wrong. This could be actually a uh, preset. But I find for certain missions that it's hard to tell. Plus also, I don't have a practice file for this. Right. Let's take out the turquoise march. Now where's the air battler? There he is. Oh come on, there goes my lock on. Come on. Oh dang it. I hate that when you're over land, you can't auto glide when you do an aerial recovery. That's annoying. Why would you do this game? Right? Ay, 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 come on. Die. Right, got an item. Oh, I missed the item. And whenever you search an area, it puts a little check mark on your uh, map. So keep that in mind. So let's try number two, a bottle. And number two is correct. Number two is correct. So let us take out the wave crest. Now wave crest is just like how the avalanche was, only it's basically water based. Hence its name wave crest. Uh, attacking the tail is a lot easier than attacking the wings. So I recommend doing that instead. Uh, you can ignore the turquoise marches because they will generally leave you alone while you deal with the wave crest. And that's about it. All right. Use a high potion. Let's use fire. Huh, fire works pretty well in water. Fire. No, oh, I missed. High potion, because this thing does a lot of damage. Right. 
Fire! Dang it. Wasn't high enough. Fire! Hit it. Haha. <laughs> Fire! Oh. Fire! There we go. So far, the wave crest is almost dead. Come on. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got it. So, mission complete. Now, let's get that item. No, the item. So, mission complete, but I want what the wave crest dropped. So it was over here, and we get a shining gem. Oh, I can make some not garbage cure us, so that's always good, I guess. But we are done. Oh, an item right here. Gust shard. Okay, also kind of not necessary. So let us leave, shall we? Syax doesn't like anything that is not mission-based. Hmm, interesting. Another day, another day eating an ice cream. Seriously, Roxas, that's not good for your teeth. You're right, mm -hmm. I don't. Oh well, but there we go. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're going back to Halloween Town to take care of some of those other missions. So I'll see you all next time.